So Chernobyl I just got released a few days ago at Steam and today I'm gonna give my, uh, the honest review about it and my opinion. So Chernobylite is based on the Chernobyl incident that happened in real life just like Stalker does but has a different, totally different setting. It's more focus, it's more lore focused and more story development than Stalker. And in this game, you're gonna play as Igor Kiminyuk, who was a scientist at the Chernobyl power plant and was present during the disaster there. And he lost his his fiance during this disaster. She has gone missing. So 30, 30 years after the disaster, he goes back to the zone to try and find some clues about what happened to his missing fiancée. And the game starts and you basically hitting the power plant and failing miserably. <laughs> Everything goes wrong, you get attacked by a mysterious figure called the Black Stalker, and then you have to regroup at base, and then from there the game basically starts like it should. So from your base you're gonna start setting up your missions. You're gonna have to pick up, you can choose certain missions that you can go and scavenge for supplies and send your companions as well to go and do it for you. And that's how we basically the game's gonna go. You go out to collect resources and then you come, go back to base, you build structures in the base like places to sleep for your companions uh, weapons weapon upgrades cultivate food protective gear healing items and many more but to make that work you have to make sure you also build generators to provide enough power and also create an environment that is comfortable for your team with proper air filtration comfortable furniture and lighting as well since morale is crucial to help your team succeed in missions that you ask them to fulfill and can also alter some story aspects. Well, to be honest, the companions in this game they are almost useless and you, and you don't get to see them doing almost nothing, which can be very frustrating. You give them weapons, equipment, and all that changes is the, the success rates on the missions, you know, nothing nothing more than that you don't you can never take them them with you at any mission so you could see actually their in action doing something you know helping you explore and take resources or just helping you fight the other soldiers that would be much more interesting just to see that you know that they're they are there and they are really helping you as a team so that's very frustrating they they I don't they took that very very they made a very very bad companion system in this game the most useful part for your companions is that they teach you new skills which are great and help you improve your gameplay but that's it you know you just feed them you have to take care of the comfort in the base and provide equipments and uh, beds and everything so they can have a better life at the base you know also their psych must be managed but you know it's, you never see that in, in action you just it's all just uh, statistics and numbers and that's pretty pretty boring to be honest that's a very bad step. They could have improved that. The, another good thing about your companions is that you, you gotta say they have a, a very well developed uh, backstory, and they also you you see them progressing during the game, and that's that makes them very interesting. You know, they are not just dull characters that are there to give you skill points, and they also have their own personalities and expectations about the missions that you go around and the way you gonna the action the choices that you make during the game will affect them as well and that's that's very interesting to to give a sense of progress and also 
that uh, everything that you're gonna do is gonna meant to help or even you know make them very furious at you so that's a very positive point that Chernobyl it has you know is the character development and the story is very their story in this game is also very good you're gonna collect clues around the map you're gonna gonna be able to set a lot of pieces together and get the mystery of what happened to Tatiana during the game and also why is the NRA back into Chernobyl you know and that's just that's very a very great great and positive point for Chernobyl it I think they nailed on, on that part even though the game has a lot of mechanical issues and performances as well but other than that it's very very easy to get I immersed in this story and trust me you're gonna get very very curious to know to get to the end of the game and to get to know how the things will unfold so basically in Chernobyl it, you have a very limited amount of weapons that you can pick on you can you can use a pistol you can use an assault rifle you can use a shotgun and basically that's it for most of the game when you get towards the end you probably uh, can can build up the railgun which will increase your firepower by a whole lot and also you can build up a blaster gun that uh, will make things considerably stronger you can also set up traps during in the map to lure your enemies into but mostly that's it and you can you know just go for stealth takedowns which will make things a little bit easier and you can avoid big fights like that as for enemies you also also there is not a big variety of enemies in this game you're basically gonna fight the NRA AR soldiers well, most of the time and sometimes you're gonna f you're gonna fi fight a few general light monsters and a few and some more like something that looks like a few Chernobyl spiders and things like that but uh, yeah there, there aren't many different types of enemies during the game oh and sometimes you're also gonna find the if you take too long in a few areas that you're gonna probably gonna face up uh, against the black stalker and yeah that makes thing the exploration a little bit a little bit harder you will eventually show up if you stick around too long into a map of course there are ways to to counter the the Chernobylite storm which brings up the black stalker you just just place a few a few nullifiers that you can build when you're in in the map so we'll make things a little bit easier to traverse around the maps and explore without getting hit by the uh, the black stalker this um we got to i got to say the graphics the graphics in this game they are very very good for a small developer with a limited budget it's definitely not a triple a game but uh, you can totally see that the, the so much effort that was put into those graphics you can look everywhere in the especially when you're in forests and you, you you're definitely gonna check and see how beautiful that looks and uh, the details as well of the textures and of the the people you're gonna encounter during the game the soldiers and everything they look pretty good the weapons design they look great as well it's and of course it has a little bit of uh, problems when you check the textures in your base when you're setting up the base but it downgrades a little bit from all the rest but it's not exactly you know something that will make the game looks or in any way shape or form lose lose quality it's just a one thing that Chernobyl it hits the spot is definitely the sound and the atmosphere 
you can this game has great 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 atmosphere because it, gi it gives you you know a haunting look you know all around you you see you can really feel like you're actually at the zone you know where everything happened the chernobyl explosions happen and you walk around you go to dark forests and very close space the you know abandoned buildings everything's there and the sounds it just makes everything very dark and very quiet as well at times which makes you really really Im Im get immersed in this game especially around it you, you, you're gonna get a few jump scares here and then and I gotta say they're they're very well done you know and uh, also the weapon sounds are very good and they are, are on point and also the voice acting I would say is, is good actually especially if you like I did I played it on Russian basically which is the original language for the game so I found it to be very good I tried to use a little bit of the English uh, voice acting I didn't find so interesting as the, the Russian so I would recommend to use the Russian ones it makes the game more immersive in, in a general way but if you want to try other languages go ahead uh, I don't I don't think that takes away from the game you know so yeah so my final thoughts on Chernobyl it, um, I would say this game is not bad at all but it's also not a great game it's a good game it has a very good story it has great atmosphere it has very very good graphics and also good sound design although it does lack lacks a lot in the gameplay mechanics it's kind of clunky as i said before and doesn't get the go the game flowing like na more like in a natural way and also your companions are you know you never see them you basically almost never see them in action so that's very frustrating uh, the base building is very good it makes a very a very creative and different aspect of the game of, of games out there you know that have this, the same characteristics so yeah I can definitely say if you really enjoy uh, horror and uh, exploring with very good lore I would say to give this game a go you know you, you're not gonna regret it and if you're looking for crazy action shooting you know f an open world stuff uh, yeah I'm sorry to say but maybe this is not the game for you so keep that in mind but I still recommend this game it's a very good one is it's not a very high price on Steam so check that out you know